Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to show you or teach you how um, to automatically refresh data in the data grid view. So let's go ahead and get started. So there are a bunch of ways to achieve this. You can create a thread, create a timer, you know, stuff like that. So but in this video we're going to use a timer just because it's safe. It's safer than using a thread. So um, basically what it does is we set a timer and then every five seconds it refreshes this data grid view so that's the idea behind it it refreshes the data grid view every five seconds so that's all 10 seconds 20 15 you know just as you would like so um basically what this software does is you know i enter my name phone number and then save and then every five seconds um it refreshes so currently, that auto refresh um, hasn't been initiated yet. So all I've done is just create a save part where I can, you know, save into the database. So let's quit this for now. So this is my form. So let's go and add a timer. I'm going to add a timer. Just double click on it and then it's added here. So before we go further, I would like to show you my codes just so you understand where I'm coming from. So here's what I did. I created my connection string and um, inserted my connection string right here so I can have a link to the database. I can have access to the database. So it's not much. I didn't add a password. No, just simple like that. So here it's my save button. So it's nothing for you to really concern yourself with. It's just a normal insert, you know, function, try and catch and all that. So, but feel free to pause the video and, you know, if you need the code, you can just, if you need to see the code uh, and increase this a bit, you can just, you know, pause the video and view that. So here's what we're really concerned about, this refresh reg. This refresh reg is um the code to refresh your database your data on the data grid view rather so i'd like to show you that um, the name of the database i'm dealing with is ecom so ecom the name of the red the name of the table is register that's why you see select from register and now this dgv is my the name of my data grid view so it's data grid view dot data source and then ds dot table my ds is just my data set and then you know you don't need to concern yourself just know about the codes and then um without wasting your time i'll just go over to the timer and edit some little properties and then i'll change this I'll, i'm going to enable the timer then after enable enabling the timer i'll come into the interval so the interval is um how long do you want the timer to run for? So currently it's just 0 0.1 second. So keep in mind that this is a hundred millisecond and a hundred millisecond is 0 0.1 uh, second. So I'm going to use, let's just say five seconds, which is 5,000. Yes, that's 5,000. So the timer is going to run for 5,000. Now double click on the timer. Now, whatever code is written on this timer, once it starts running, it will execute. So, as you as you already know, the name of my function, that, the name of the function in my code that refreshes the data grid view is this refresh reg right here. So, I'm going to scroll down and type that up. Okay, I'm just going to write refresh reg. So, once the timer um, exec once the timer starts it's just going to refresh the data on the data grid view so next I'm going to once the I'm going to add this um, timer start function just so once the form loads up because this is uh, form 3 dot load form 3 dot load so once um, this form loads up the timer is going to start so timer one to start mm. okay 
and then I'm going to also add timer one dot start again here. Timer one dot start. The reason why is once this executes, it will stop. It, uh, yes, it's going to stop. So to make it keep repeating itself, we have to use a timer. We have to restart the timer again. So after five seconds, it will start again. After another five seconds, after another five seconds, just like that, it keep it keeps repeating. So let's go and run our code and see how this runs automatically. So I'm I'm not pressing anything right now. So every after five seconds, you see it's just prints. It just it just refreshes our database, our data on it on the data grid view. So let me enter this time. Let me say John, and then phone number. I'm just going to enter a random random number. Then I click save. So after an interval of five seconds you see it just refreshes automatically so that's it i can just enter another let's say peter and then just enter another number save and then after an interval of another five seconds it actually refreshes so just as you can see so thanks for watching um, thanks for my new subscriber that recommended me doing this video. So thanks for every thanks for all your support. Thanks so much. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.